Our next award is Writer Comedy, sponsored by The Farm Group. And to present the award, easily the standout star of the classic Cold Feet. Don't worry, none of the others are here. I married a very handsome man, uh, younger than I deserved, if truth be known. And on the eve of my wedding, my uh, maid of honour came to me very seriously and said, if you're going to make this man stay with you, you're going to have to be funny. Um, I've been happily married for over 10 years. It's gone well. However, the material is getting a little tired. Um, and I would ask each of the nominees tonight, the very brilliant nominees, to submit some new material to get me through the next 10 years. Uh, let's have a look at their work. Writer. Comedy. I was in an episode of um, Emergency Ward something. Uh, I was Doctor Two. I was supposed to be Doctor Three, but they bumped me up when the other one got irritable owl syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I had a line in this and everything. Let's hear it. Let's hear the line. Steve Delaney, Graham Linehan, Count Arthur Strong. <coughs> <laughs> it's outside my area of expertise. I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh, God, sorry. I, I, I just can't do this. You said you would. Get Doc to do it or something. He's done it twice. I can't ask him again. It'll look like I'm getting off on it. Sam Bain, Jesse Armstrong, Tom Basden, Fresh Meat. I've deceived the woman I love. I deserve to have cancer. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure cancer doesn't work like that. If it did, Roy Castle would still be alive and Tiger Woods would be carrying around a tumour the size of a fucking golf bag. <sighs> well, let me check yours then. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hang on a second, this is my car. Graham Linehan, the IT crowd. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's all right, it won't be cool. I'll handle this. It's all right, officer. I'm doing secret millionaire. <laughs> I'm not going to go there without any money. No, I wouldn't <laughs> do that. Sense. We're only a total idiot. We're going there without any money. James Corden, Matthew Bainton, the wrong man. <laughs> Which is why I'm sending you. What? You're joking, right? Those winks mean you're joking, right? That, that was a joke. That was a funny joke. When you do a wink, it means it's a joke, right? I think we established quite clearly that we just work for the council. And the winner is... I need you, Graham Linehan for the IT crowd. Thanks very much. Uh, I forgot to get braces when I bought this monkey suit, so even though I appear to be at an award ceremony, I feel very unfortunate. Um, uh, I kind of wish I'd won for uh, Count Arthur Strong, because I'm sitting with Steve and I've had so much fun writing with him. Uh, so I'm going to dedicate this to you, Steve. Uh, you're a joy to work with and a uh, joy to watch you work. Um, and uh, I also want to, because my wife, every time she sees someone on an award ceremony, seeing someone thank they, their wife, she says, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> he thanked his wife, because I never have. So uh, thank you, Helen. Uh, if someone is on Twitter, could they write to Helly Cake and just tell her that I won and I thanked her? That's very important. Thank you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Uh, this is really exciting as well because uh, last year we kind of marked the end of the series. Yeah. Well, as far so, as we know, mm -hmm. is that? No, no, it's over. So this is a great time to win an award for it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this should do uh, do us uh, well. No, it actually won't mean anything. <laughs> 
But no, no, it's very nice. It's always nice to win awards. Are you kidding? This is amazing. It's, yeah, it's yeah, no, it's, it's lovely. It shows that it was definitely worth it. We absolutely, all loved it. Absolutely, absolutely. No, it's very nice. And you've got nominations at the TV BAFTAs as well. Your, yes. your cast members are there. That's right. That's right. We're all, we're all uh, together again, so that's good. Yeah. Mm. And was it sad to bid farewell to the whole series? I know you did your Christmas kind of extravaganza, didn't you? Uh, well, yes, um, yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't uh, sad. It 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 felt like everybody was ready to move on. We'd been doing it for nearly eight years or something, so it felt right. Um, I mean, you are the master of really great um, comedy dramas as well, Father Ted. We've seen before. We've got this one now. What is the key to to finding something that's got longevity? Um, I guess just don't have characters who everybody hates. <laughs> you know, that's the that's. The, I, I I don't know. We just we just kind of um, mess about until we come up with something we like, and and if you like it yourself, hopefully other people will too. Do you use a live audience when you're doing it? Mm -hmm. Um, how does that work? Does that mean that if they don't respond that you rewrite it or do you just... We sometimes do rewrites on the on the set, but sometimes we just cut out the joke and, you know, and bolt it together. It, it depends, but I like live audiences because uh, the uh, cast members kind of surf on the laughter and know how to tweak a joke to make it work better and, and that's something I really enjoy. Also, it's a lot of pressure and that means you come up with better jokes, I think. Yeah. Um, do you find it, um, well, you must find it quite rewarding as well, because not, not just the show that is successful, but also you see your actors also grow and develop and become these mm -hmm. Hollywood superstars as yes, well. Yes, yes, and they all go on to get paid much more than me, so it's, uh, it's is that very... Is the real reason you're not doing another one? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no uh, but they are, it, there is a kind of natural movement away from it. it. You know, it would start to look, even on Friends, they all started having babies and stuff. But even with that, it started feeling a bit weird that they were all still hanging out with each other after 10 years. So, you know, I always want to make sure and do the series um, before everybody gets sick of it. So that was the, uh, th that was the, I wanted to end the series before everyone gets sick of it. Mm. So that's what we did. Um, can I ask what this BAFTA means to you then this time and uh, where it will go? Uh, it'll just go, um, well, uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have a few, so it'll, it'll go with them, really. Collection. But the best thing is, is the chocolate BAFTAs that you get, because they're going to my kids. Oh, right, okay. So have, you, have you taken a few from other tables I will as well? be stealing a few, yeah. yeah. That's it. People <laughs> don't realise if you can have slight them. Well, look, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay.